Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. All right, boys. So I guess we're almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Let's check out more about that mask we found. <laughs> Peter. So you got distracted. He got distracted by his phone. In his office now. Hmm. Find the office. This makes me feel like that I'm playing with some student in college. For some reason. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? Uh, I don't know. Why take the risk? Sorry, guys. Alright. Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. So that's what those people well, were. that went about as well as I could have hoped. Is it? Peter! You're so thin. Are you eating? Someday I'll open one of those food trucks. All right. There should be somewhere down here. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while. All right. Good morning, sun. Light. Good morning, glorious sunlight. It is night live. Time for Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey workout in this. Alright, hey, spidey workout. <laughs> mm. 
Let's go check out more of those strange backpacks that people in the sleeves. There's one right here, in fact. Attention all units. A kidnapping has been reported. Location is north end of China. Kidnapping. Uh oh. Let's go. It's like we got some kind to some kind of kill. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration yeah. is mutual. You've got a good boss. Man. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Alright, I'm trying to find this. Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget. I just somewhere near I, me. I'll, I'll be there soon. His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. It's over here. Uh oh. Alright, trying to kick some people in the face. Kidnapping is wrong. What for? That's what it's made of. Also, this stuff is made of justice. Ow. You're gonna regret that, sir. Like this. A stick is enough to beat me. Say goodbye. Huh. All right, let's continue going to the lab. Wait, why is it called day two? Is it some? Hey Doc, did something happen? Now. Be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. It's <sighs> right in time. He should blame now me. <laughs> I'm the one who loses track of time here. Attention units, we've got a 1010 possible narcotic. Uh, Alright. Maybe I can do a little tower scan as a fit stop. Hello police, I'm here to fix your tower. Please don't shoot at me. We got this Spider-Man, thanks anyway. Or do you? You're welcome. The camera was automatically doing that. All right, let's see what's going on with that. The lab. I keep saying that in the same way. Oh, in your scientist suit, all right. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do? It's the arm from earlier. Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. What do you think you're doing? 
This site's been declared a safety hazard. Wait, can I ship this? I can't, but I don't want to. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were, though. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Oh. Not a new suit. Okay. Perfect. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. Those are characters. Huh. We got more stuff. Gadgets. Go three. This. I wish I could do something to help Doc. I could call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. I should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. I can go outside. There must be now. some way to help Doc. Right. Let's keep moving. I'm also scanning the area with me. Oh 
up my next for. Hey, Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. Let's start. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, um, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Yep. You heard him. We're gonna swing right through them. These clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. There's another one right here. And gotcha. I'm using the map to figure this out. I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Absolutely good samples of bad stuff. I missed. <coughs> Got it. <laughs> Alright, that's the last one. Okay, that's not the last one. It's right somewhere. Right there. Oh, 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 it's like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <laughs> <laughs> I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars. And a faulty smokestack. I better get photo. Oh, come on, man. Now I'm just taking pictures of cars. Alright, second one. Got it! Light on that one. Attention! I want you to stop your car. Okay, there you go. Chopping up snug. All right, after on source to go. Uh, I'm just gonna. Best smokestack picture I ever took. The <laughs> Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Yeah. So... Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Yeah. Well, Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. What will you sell by Earth Day when it comes up, Peter? Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped. And now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. No way. Looking at this in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Oh. Looks like we're going round to a Shocker. 
And I missed that. Let me chase. Officers respond. Witness report of an active drug deal. Officers in Murray uh, Stand by for further instruction. Right after this little crime. The city. Mm. Gotta clean the city up, except the dirtiness is for its crimes. Ahem. Going somewhere besides jail? Oh, how it was. How does this feel, huh? Bad doesn't feel good since I just knocked him out of a building. And he somehow got glued to it. With the spider web. <sighs> Nothing puts a halting an illegal drug deal. <laughs> I got All right. It. We are. Right. So, let's. Peter, I've been looking. I'm sorry, but I just hung up on your call. Or, just, or I should just say, sorry, you have the wrong number. <laughs> Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Ooh. Yeah. Whoa. You okay Your there? are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Finally! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Trying to absolutely Remember destroy you. Fight? Me so young and stupid. You just stupid. You talk so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? Words per minute? Syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's all so subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. I don't have anything to throw. The, the person they're working for, that kind of thing. Ah. Uh. Coming your way. Okay, now I can do some real damage. Uh. Why are you uh. doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, don't kill me. Get if you ask nicely, maybe. Eat this! <laughs> you come clean, I can help you! You really wanna help me? Won't let me have my money! Sorry, never! We will never let you have the money. That's considered stealing, and I will pay for it. A.K.A. Shocker, A.K.A. the worst super villain ever. You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trade. It's all the rage. Uh oh, looks like it's not over yet. Herman, you tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Uh, no, you haven't. Okay, it's 
to my chance. This one's gonna hurt. Real bad. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything under those masks. Wait, did you say masks? Maybe he knows something about them. Bruh. I got him just in time. These mask guys. What do they want the money for? Don't know. Don't care. As soon as I finish the job, I'm gone. <laughs> if you, if you guys team, well, if we okay. teamed up, I wouldn't let you die. But Robin, face has to stop, buddy. Cause you're definitely not gonna kill me with that too. Got him. Give up now and we can protect you! No way! You ain't see what I do! Ooh. until he gets tired. Okay, I was kidding before. Now is your last last chance. Seriously. No, oh, I see your plan. Sorry, Herman. You brought this on yourself. Literally. It's really his own fault. Well, you guys want Spider-Man? There you have it. Man, he was scared and desperate. And these demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Alright, well... That's it. Okay, Yuri. See you guys Shockers later. All